there everyone it's me again Chris and I present to you video number six for the instructions on the ramp mod for the Diagostini model space Millennium Falcon all right here we go this video I'm gonna cover uh, just the simple installation and orientation and setup of the missing hydraulic arms or the arm pistons as seen here. I've designed these uh, missing pistons uh, to mimic the middle bear with me please the middle arms are the short hydraulic piston arms I just took some measurements with uh, a set of digital calipers mimicked the part and made everything in plastic. It has the same uh, moving uh, hinge on the little uh, base down here. Instead of a metal pin, it's got a plastic pin that's uh, slightly larger, so it's it will be easy to wor work with. Uh, however, it's on a parts sprue or parts tree, if you will. Uh, I've got one left over. I I'll admit it, this is why I made six just for two because they're they are tiny and when they are uh, let me focus and get this in in the game. Get it together, Chris. When this is cut with an exacto knife or a hobby knife, please be careful. I mean these things are just fling right off. Woo! And they'll go to the same universe where all the left missing socks are on the planet. So the best bet to do is to focus, focus, is to hold the top of the pin with a finger and with the other hand just cut one side at a time while still holding that, that top of the pin so it doesn't fly into never never land and you will reduce the risk of uh, you know losing him uh, into uh, a black hole or deep space nine or wherever uh, awesome Star Trek uh, spaceships go to die yes okay so I've got a bracket that uh, goes inside here it's almost like a, a snap tight piece locks in and sits in place <coughs> pardon me to assemble it it's the same exact thing as the stock kit instructions Take the guide pin, put it through the bracket, put a little glue on the head here. Note the orientation of the left and right positions on each. Because we want to have them to at least face the uh, if I can focus, bear with me, bear with me. Okay, when these uh, shorter pistons on the hydraulic arm face out towards the exit of the ramp, and this feature right here should be keyed and facing towards the wall, just like it is in uh, the stock parts. Uh, the bottom line is to really have... the short little piston arm face forward outward towards the exit of the ramp and that'll do you so once you assemble these slide these in place put a little glue on the back get them to drop and sit level and everything will be fine as I said, uh, this is made 
to go not only up and down, but it's got this little neat tiny tiny little hinge with a, a lower hinge pin that rocks back and forth like this. If it will focus for me, for the love of God, please focus. So it will pivot with the ramp as it goes up and down, which uh, I will cover in the next video as to where to modify the uh, ramp floor itself so you can key these uh, the footings for the hydraulic pistons in. All right, pre-fitment of the <coughs> pardon the hall and corridor area. It is designed to slide and fit over the short stock hydraulic piston arms and the outer hallway ramp wall should tuck behind this curved piece right here. You pre-fit that, make it flush, and seat it down as hard as possible. And as I said, this is not a direct bolt-on, plug-and-play kit. So there may be some uh, required uh, uh, modeling putty, body filler, or gap filling needed to seam or, and seal together the ramp hallway and corridor and seal it against the metal framing and to uh, eliminate any light leaking so you want some light blocking in it you might need to use uh, a few extra polystyrene parts to add to that if you so choose um, uh, I thought it was a waste of time to add any detail or material up inside uh, this area so that's why I did what I did but you can still see let me get a flashlight if uh, you don't mind right since I don't have any lighting activated or lit up in here we can see the innards and with that extra hydraulic piston arm, that is spot on, baby. That is just sweet. So, okay, thank you. Stay tuned for more. And after we get the missing hydraulic arm pistons installed, glued into the ramps hallway wall, and not gluing this in place, of course, because this is why. I will show you guys how to uh, mark the position for the footing for the said missing hydraulic uh, ramp arm pistons and where to, where to cut on the ramp floor itself so you can seat them in, glue them in so they'll move just like this along with the uh, existing two. Alright, so that's uh, upcoming in uh, video 7. Yes! Maybe some more exciting gluing will happen. Who knows? Stay tuned for more. Alright guys, thanks again. Bye.